It's time to get up, comic book. I'm your friendly neighborhood host, Chris Killian, delivering the best news from the last 24 hours to get your day started. Up first on the docket, Warner Brothers has ordered a script rewrite for The Flash, hiring Joby Harold, who wrote the upcoming King Arthur film. So far, Warner Brothers hasn't commented about the news, but it looks like the studio may be wanting to change the film's direction. Though for the life of me, I can't understand why they would want to do that. Either way, we are all rooting for an amazing Flash film. Especially Cap. The new X-Men TV show received an official pilot order on Tuesday. Now it's been revealed that Brian Singer, the director of four other X-Men movies, will direct the pilot episode. So far, we don't know what mutants will be showing up in the new series because thus far, Fox has decided to keep their mouths shut. Probably for the best. Speaking of Deadpool, did you know he's got a daughter? Well, in the comic books, he does, and her name is Elle. Without getting too spoilery, in the upcoming Deadpool number 25, we find out what mutant powers she has, and they're not Baraka Claws. So go grab the issue to find out. Vin Diesel has officially joined Twitter. In less than a day, he amassed more followers than I have, so I'm not following him. But if you would like to see tweets like this, then by all means, go follow Mr. Diesel. Actually, I would probably follow him if he really tweeted that. And finally, Gotham fans, get ready for the return of Jerome. After releasing an amazing trailer yesterday, hyping the episode for next Monday, it looks like Jerome is going full clown prince of crime. He's got the scars, the laugh, this Joker hat, but Gotham producers are still being a little coy about calling Jerome the Joker. Based on whether or not they do, I'm still being coy about whether or not I like Gotham. And that's the get up, so get down with your day. Follow me on Twitter, at Chris Killian, right after you go follow Vin Diesel. More importantly, check back with comicbook.com for all your favorite news.